Today I have the pleasure of speaking with Nick Erner from Alkane Resources. How are you today, Nick? I'm very well, thanks, Tracy. Thanks for having me again. Well, you know, we want to talk about gold for the holidays, and I was reading the New York Times this weekend, and it said this is the one year that stuffing your cash in a mattress may have actually put you further ahead. So let's talk about gold. This would be a good time to invest in gold. Nick, what do you think? Oh. I mean, nat naturally, I'm a bit of a gold bull. Uh, certainly, we're really happy with how the year's gone for Alkane Resources. We, we tr we're an Australian gold. And so, as we've seen uh, the rise and fall of US dollar gold, certainly the Australian dollar has corrected broadly as well. So, you know, last financial year, which was um, finished in Australia at the end of June, we sold our gold for an average of around $1,720 Australian. And we've seen similar price levels this year in Aussie dollars. And so, you know, for a cost base, for us, our open cut of below $1,000 an ounce Australian, it's been, it's been a wonderful period of time. And if you look historically, um, at the moment in Australian gold, there's been sort of nine or ten quarters in real terms over the history at these price levels. So certainly it's uh, an excellent time to have been in, in Australian gold. Nick, in our last conversation, you said at the end of September you had $82.4 in cash and bullion, and you've been accruing that cash up. Uh, so talk to me a little bit about what you're doing with your gold acquisitions that you were working on. Oh, yeah, thanks, Tracy. So certainly we, at the end of the quarter, great cash position for us. So we've been making investments into other near-term development prospects. And there were two that we were chasing in Australia. One's been successful, one's been unsuccessful. The successful one has been in Calidus Resources. The ASX ticker for that is CAI. They've got uh, ground and a reasonable uh, prospects which are going through uh, scoping and feasibilities at the moment up in the Pilbara region of w WA, Western Australia. And so we're helping them to get through to feasibility just through investment. They manage that and we formed a, a technical committee to help uh, maximise value of our investment. So we really like that one, right? We, we like uh, the size of the deposit, we like its expiration potential, we like its capacity to bring near-term development cash. With Explorum, we were looking to do a similar thing, to be part of a placement, help them go through to feasibility, but they were also subject to a takeover offer from another company called Romelius, and uh, Romelius increased their offer and, their, and the directors of Explorum have accepted that offer, so Alcane's no longer part of that. And so, you know, say la vie. But if you look at what's our, what is our gold investment strategy, we want to assist companies and therefore make money for our shareholders to come into production because in general you get this tension where you've raised the ounces on a resource perspective, then you have to mine and that becomes a funding crunch point. And working through that point brings value for the next lot of investors or the same investors and we want to be part of that. And so we've got a good stake in Calidus and working with them, we're looking to do more with our cash. Well, speaking of wanting to be a part of it, you know, Tamingly, your gold project has been very good yep. for Alcane shareholders. Can you provide us with a bit of an update? Yeah, thank you. Um, it has been good for us. So at the moment, we're finishing the open cut there. That will finish in January. We had four pits and they're coming to completion. And then we've started our underground development and we cut the portal in January, in just a few weeks. You know, our team's on site, our equipment's arriving. And so we'll start, we'll be on development or there in the middle of next year, in the middle of 2019, and we'll be stoping around September, October and, and milling that then. And so that, that'll be a small mine, circa 30 to 35,000 ounces a year. And we're doing a whole heap of exploration to the south and those results will come in the coming quarter to help um, either do new underground or open cut developments. This is over a 15 kilometre uh, mineralised zone. Of course, with everything that's happening in the news today, the Chinese and American t uh, trade negotiations, a lot of yeah. us uh, perceive the gold market to have just actually started. What are your thoughts about the new year? I, I fall into the same camp uh, as most of your other listeners, I think, and that is, there's a lot more upwards price pressure, particularly in Australian gold price, than there is downwards pressure. Um, and so 
you know, w w that, that's pretty exciting because there's quite a lot of deposits where then the grade becomes becomes profitable, not just for us, but for other companies within Australia. And so, yeah, I'm, I'm pretty bullish on gold. And like most companies, we've got different mine plans ready for different cutoff grades as it permits. And I think we'll continue to see a fair bit of consolidation in the Australian gold junior sector uh, as people look for economies of scale as well. So pretty interesting times, I think, in 2019 in Australian gold. Well, Nick, thank you so much for joining us today. As always, it's a thank pleasure. You. Thanks very much, Tracy. Pleasure to be with you again.